All right, guys, I'm feeding these calves. Uh, I'm watering them right now. Uh, it's about 30 degrees and temperature's gonna drop, so I'm using a water hose. Uh, most of the time, January, February, I got pack water. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna use water hose before it gets cold. This is the, uh, some of you that watch a lot of my videos uh, remember when I bailed this stuff, second cutting hay. It's, uh, you can see the red clover in it, horse grass. Uh, they like it. Uh, I have to get some more hay, but what I'm trying to give them is, uh, eight pounds of grain for a head and uh about 11 pounds of hay uh that's just what need the feed man have talked about um just kind of get an estimate of what stuff weighs and whatnot <clears throat> these are the ones that got august 25th so they were born uh in the third week of august um my new calves now, they were born last week in November. I got them December 1st, I think. Um, these are the cans that have microplasma. See how they tilt their head sideways? It's uh, like an earache. Um, I've heard you can hold them down, pour alcohol in their ear, and it'll pop, and it'll fix that. But I don't know. I'm going to have the vet come out. Um, they're actually doing a heck of a lot better than they were, so... Now, these are, the, these are the best calves over here. Uh, <clears throat> this is the Misfit pen right here. And these are in between Misfit and really good calves. So they're uh, right in the middle. But uh, these are the sick calves, and I didn't want them to be closer to the wind. I figured I could get them in between the groups, and they'd probably do a little better. But I took the gate out and put these in one big group right now. Let them get used to that and I'm going to try to push this other group of calves to get them up to this size so they're getting a whole lot of feed uh, so I can have this in one pretty big group these tail enders are probably going to go with the group that I got over there because they're just uh, they're not doing as well but they're doing a lot better than they were so that's good um, I'm a, <clears throat> I talked about a different milk program uh, I used a step up program last time. This time I'm using uh, I used 2020 milk, which is 20% protein last time. This time I'm using 2520. Um, I was concerned about the price. Uh, needing the feed man, nutritionist talked about it, and he came up with a lot of paperwork. And uh, he said on a on a normal size calf, which is about 90 pounds. At birth, 90, 90, 95 pounds on these Holstein, which that's what I'm getting. Some of them's bigger than that, but we figured on the, the 20, 25 milk, or 25, 20 milk, whichever it is, that um, I have a little bit more money in them, but my, here, uh, my price, my profit, my price per pound of gain actually goes down because I'm going to have a bigger calf when the program's over with. And uh, the bag of milk costs about $64 a bag, which is uh, quite a bit more than the uh, 2020 milk. But <coughs> I'll have less money in a bigger calf. So I'm pushing them a little bit harder. Uh, I think uh, milk price is like $14 a hundred or something like that. Uh, so, you know, it's got whey in it. So anything milk related is cheaper. I think uh, Dad was telling me that we went to Walmart a while back, and uh, I think milk was 78 cents a gallon, and uh, limit two two gallons per person. That's crazy. But um, anyway, uh, I don't. It used to be, uh, you know, we never bought any milk. We always drank right out of the cooler. So, uh, you know. I guess uh, we were, me and Dad were talking about organic, organic milk, and uh, I think it's like thirty dollars a hundred, but they're paying you for it, and uh, 
that seems like that's the way to go. I think your farm's got to be organic free for three years and uh, non GMO uh, corn salad you can feed it. Um, you can still bail alfalfa and all that stuff, but you're basically going back to the 1920s. Uh, no medication is like a lot of these farmers are struggling to uh, keep their cows alive when they get sick. So you got a pretty tough cow. You can probably milk these old beef cows and do all right. If you had some good ones, wait till they get old. Ones that are about ready to retire and the calf can't suck a cow anymore and the tits get too big, we start milking her, I guess. But uh, I doubt we do that. Um, <coughs> my dad, I've been sick. And my, my dad and my cousin worked on this today. They put these poles in here uh, for the hoop barn. Uh, my new calves, uh, like I said, this this is a new thing I'm trying out with the uh, <coughs> these calves every quarter. Now I got all my calves off a bottle and they're on. They're drinking out of a bucket now, so that's good. The reason why I got last time I used bucket or bottles the whole time, this time I'm not because with this new program, we're gonna give them more than a gallon a day, which is uh, four quarts a gallon. Those are two quart bottles. And uh, I need to give them more, and I'm not going to go back down there and refill the bottles and feed them three times a day. I'm just going to give them more per feeding. So uh, I got a two quart pitcher, and uh, I'm going to give them uh, more. Uh, he told me it'd be great if you could work them up to two gallons, but I doubt I'd do that. But this is all sawdust in here. <clears throat> we got two 20 foot gates ordered, uh, they'll be here. And, uh, it's gonna get cold and rainy. Um, that's the problem around here in Kentucky in the winter time. We get a lot of 30 to 30, 38 and 42 degree rain and it's heavy rain. Uh, it, it's just a slop hole and I'm gonna put the cows up and put them in this barn. Um, this dry weather has been great. It's been cold and dry and it's <coughs> highs in the 30s and lower 40s every day. And, lows in the 20s and teens and it's just been great weather and as you can see it's uh it's dry but that's great but uh anyway it's a little i had some requests to uh uh do a video um i've been sick and uh really can't do, do a whole lot of talking when you uh can't breathe and you have a cold so uh I'm starting to get over it now, so uh, getting out in the cold every day doesn't help when you're when you're sick anyway. So um, probably gonna sell. Oh, I had a guy come and look at some heifers yesterday. I was selling some heifers, and uh, he he liked them, uh, the ones that he picked out, and uh, we uh, probably gonna sell them in about three three or four weeks. So uh, get ready for calving time. And then I gotta get another calf, uh, group of bottle calves started. So, uh, anyway, it's a quick video and uh, quick update. So, uh, thanks for watching.